Login to my claim center application. Okay, on my claim, let's say I pick one specific claim. Okay, I just pick one claim over here. On that claim, what happens is, let's suppose there could be a, let's suppose there is a fraud. Okay, somebody has uh, filed a fraud claim. Okay, you can see that coming. So when you go for the special investigation details, this is how your guideware application does that. Okay, all it has is this specific information that okay. Just some some details over here. You can click on this edit, and it has some extra questions. But okay, is it possible to do this? And there is just one small flag. Okay, one second. It all this is already done. Let's try to create one more claim. Go to special investigation detail and see this. Okay. Now when I have to mention that okay, this claim could be fraud. How will I do this? All you need to do is click on this edit. Okay. You just have to give basic fraud indicators. Okay, you have to answer a few questions. Okay, was your vehicle stolen or some other details? And finally, you are just changing this. Refer your claim to the SIU. SIU is Special Investigation Unit. Okay, so you just put one comment over here. Looks like a fraud claim. Okay, and you do an update. So your claim fraud detection happened. Okay, but again, the point is. This is not giving you too much of an information. Like from a client perspective, you know this is a very risky thing. You are making a payment, you know, false payment on a false claim. So what they do is they have to do the customization around it. They need to work on the complete business use case. You know, they want to have multiple screens, multiple implementations. Okay, so that's what we will be do taking doing in the customizations. You know, in our in our configuration changes. So. This is what we will be working. This is my virtual machines. You have all these, you know, presentations and the story cards. You know, what we'll do is we have these. Uh, where are the story cards? We will pick the story card implementations. Let's go with the claim fraud one. And this is my fraud business page. So now what will what what I will do? I will be doing is, you know, we will be working on this fraud implementation. My where my client's requirement is. To go with these UI markers. Yes. Okay. So now what I need is, uh, you know, this is what my client wants instead of what I have currently on my system. For my special investigation details, like if you see, this is my special investigation details screen. Okay. So on my special investigation on my in my you know my my fraud management, they will be asking so much information like about suspect information, SIU investigations, like the special investigation unit investigation. What is the business decision on a fraud, and what is the overview of this? So we will be in case of in case of my configuration, we will be doing all these UI changes. You know, adding these component on the UI, making their data model changes, doing the writing the business rules and validations. So that would be part of my configurations. Okay. Do you see this? That was the same the same screen we are talking about. Special investigation detail. So we will be, you know, deleting whatever is this thing is this guy is doing, and we'll do my own customizations. Okay. So for doing all that, turn below to this video and also press the bell icon to get the latest updates of my videos.